Welcome back everybody. Today we're taking a look at Target. Now, they have a great design aesthetic in my opinion. Let's see if the Halloween merchandise holds up. But of course, the first thing we see as we come into the door is the dollar spot, where things are only a few bucks. And despite talking about Halloween, it looks like it's mostly fall decor. But toward the back of the display, they are hiding some Halloween merchandise. I'm not sure what that scented sand is all about. What do you use that for? someone could fill me in I'd appreciate it but anyway we've got some potion bottles here actually you could probably put that sand in those potion bottles and that would give it a nice little look and I guess it would smell nice too but uh, here's just some odds and ends some socks if you want them or candles because why not and then here are some chalkboard um, this is a little cauldron I don't know what you'd call it. it's not really a sign just a random piece of decor. Got a couple pillows here, which is wanted. Some pails, and what are these things? I'm not even sure. On the other side here, we've got, again, more potion boxes. Behind this sign seems to be lurking something. Let's go ahead and pull that out. And it is a dead and breakfast inn with vacancy. Should check the other side of that sign. Maybe it said no vacancy on the other side. But this is what I think is really cool is you have these additional signs, reservations, check in, and so forth. So if you were doing some sort of haunted motel theme or a dead and breakfast, that would be absolutely perfect. If you're going for something more colorful, can't go wrong here. We had some multicolored candles. I think they were scented. Lots of different brightly colored pumpkins. And then here's some projects you can paint yourself. Some buckets. Alright, but let's go ahead and hit, make our way toward the back where the good stuff is, but we're stopped here in the grocery section. You can buy some painted pumpkins. I don't know if that sign was right. It said something about plants. These aren't really plants, but hopefully they're not trying to sell these for $7.99. Not sure I would want to pay that, but it is kind of nice that they will give you a pre-painted pumpkin. Also, before we get to the main section, they have this separate little cart display of Dia de los Muertos merchandise, which of course is my theme this year. So I was very excited. Look, they've got a bunch of different wines. Well, actually just a couple of different wines. One giant bottle there, and then some more below it. And a lantern to go along with it. But there is a red and a black. I'm not really sure what a black wine is, but uh, I bought some and we will give it a taste test in maybe a future video, but I'll use it for my party kind of like those sugar skull cookies as well but if you're not going to serve your pre-made cookies you can make your own desserts here as well from these boxed things as you lounge on the pillows then they just have an assortment of the day of the dead decor so you know if you wanted to make this your theme you've got lots of ways you can do it in fact i have bought a lot of this merchandise already in other forms like these well, these are scented candles here, um, but I, I bought some uh, candles just like that. Not just like that, obviously a different pattern. But they sell them at the Dollar Tree um, with the Day of the Dead stickers on them, and it's going to work great for me. And then we've got some other little tchotchkes you can put around, some little display boxes to go with the um, memory theme of your lost loved ones, um, which of course the marigold is a symbol of that as well. So you've got some tablecloths here, and then there is a hand towel to go along with it. All right, they actually sell pumpkins. I don't recall ever seeing real pumpkins in Target before. But it brings us to this amazing inflatable here. This just might be one of my favorite inflatables I've seen this season. It's the hot air balloon with the pumpkin man. I just love him, and he's 80 bucks. But they've got an assortment of inflatables this year. I wish we could see more of them on display, but we'll have to be content here with the boxes. Of course, there's Nightmare Before Christmas. That little um, Reaper Man we've seen in Target here the last several years, but I don't know if we saw that Pumpkin Man there. I love these sort of flashing lights. They look very much like neon, especially with the, the blinking and the movement now. All right, take a look at some of the other offerings here. There's a pirate dog for your pirate theme but 40 bucks basically for that little pumpkin guy probably it was the same for the reaper not sure if that's a good price or not it's not really up my alley 
Um, I do like these light fixtures though. Um, that little skull light, there was a single one there on the right that I really liked, but it was like $10. $10 for each stake light that you want to put in your yard? Seems a bit pricey. But I'll stick with that string. And of course there's lots of different versions. We also have some projection effects. Now I'm not a big fan of these things. You have to put them really close to the wall to see them. And it has to be pretty dark out, so unless you have the exact perfect lighting conditions, I recommend just skipping these altogether. Although they do look neat. I actually kind of like this one that goes around your doorway, makes a little archway. And that green specter there I've seen in the last couple of years too, I fell in love with it the moment I saw it. One of these years I might get around to actually buying it and just checking it out for the fun of it. But whatever your lighting needs, Target certainly has something for you. But moving on to more of the traditional decor, we've got some spider webbing and some hanging ghouls and ghosts. Let's see, I like the eyes on this one, it's very distinctive. He has that very Target skull face. You know what I mean, it's very distinctive. Okay, well down here we have a display of feet that you can stick out of graves or in pots. The display looks like the same sort of feet though that we've seen for several years in a row here at Target. And of course Target always has these creepy crawly things that you can buy to stick around your house. Uh, snakes and spiders and so forth. I really like the spiders though because I think it's a good all around frightening aspect. Especially that nice orange and black one. It's very Halloween. This set, little set of tombstones is also very Halloween. I'm really impressed by the colors, the orange and the blue, and there was some green back there. Kind of reminds me of Beetlejuice, but we're going to see some more of those a little bit later. First, though, we've got some more uh, spider webs or creepy cloth. The creepy cloth, of course, we can get at the Dollar Tree for a little bit cheaper, but I did notice that they changed up their standard creepy cloth this year and I haven't had a chance to test it yet so we'll take a look at that maybe later. Some skeletons and of course we've got some little hanging things. There's a witch and a ghost and it doesn't really seem like they want to do anything. I'm sure they probably have eyes that light up but they are ten dollars for a small light up prop. Not really my cup of tea I would vastly prefer one of these larger props, which are probably just a little bit more. Let's go ahead and test these out. First up, we have some sort of uh, a ghostly woman. If I can find the front of her and the button, let's go ahead and see what she does. So that wasn't a bad assortment. There was not a huge quantity. I did notice there was still an associate putting out things and obviously some of these bare shelves uh, are indicating that we might be getting some more merchandise, but the 
quantity that's out right now doesn't seem like a whole lot. So if you want something, I mean, it's almost October. You probably want to get it now. They're probably not going to be doing too much more stocking of the same merchandise that we see. So I think that once it's gone, it's probably going to be gone. I do like this sort of hanging flame effect skull with the sort of broken off jaw. Lights are on. Not really sure why it doesn't work, though. Stack of skulls here. Did you notice that there's at least one there with a pirate patch on it? An eye patch. That's kind of cute. And then, of course, if you're going for just sort of quirky, you've got your little wooden skeleton there. For your graveyard, we've got a few gravestones. Let's see, this one just lights up. Until next time. Wouldn't you like to have one of these uh, skeleton wolves, dogs, whatever that is, next to your gravestone? There's some hanging skeletons there, but you can get a whole gravestone set here. Looks like it's got some arms and a skull, so you can make a little cemetery scene. It's a spooky night, and I'd like to say, please grab your treat and be on your way. You know, I really do like the assortment of target cemetery tombstones. They come up with some creative ideas, albeit a little small, a little plasticky, a little whimsical, a little too whimsical for like a creepy cemetery that I might like. But at least they're doing something different. I gotta give them props for that. Down here we have those tombstones that we saw before, and if you're not a big fan of the bright colors like there were on the right, you can get the exact same set of tombstones in the grays and the white and the black. So uh, I ended up picking up a set of those myself. All right, for $10, we could get some painted pumpkins. Now, I don't think these are real pumpkins. They are plastic, so you get to use them year after year. But I like that sort of swamp thing looking one there. That black cat's very retro, very cute. We've got some push buttons down here. Let's go ahead and press those. Okay, well that was different, and I kind of like those light-up eyes. I hated them when I first saw them, but they're kind of growing on me. Alright, here's another push button. What does he do? Well, those are certainly going to get your attention. All right, we've got some sort of like wood block things that you can make your own sort of town with, but I don't really see all the parts and pieces, so I expect we might be seeing some more of that. We've got some little wood welcome signs, a little bit small, but if you're wanting something a little bit more life-size, they have these, well, there's a stop here sign, but this is a sort of a light pole. And he lights up, and I think it... And it has a little bit of a flame effect inside the jack-o'-lantern. Honestly, though, it looks just like the stuff that you see at Christmas with just a Halloween overlay. But here we've got some more little odds and ends. I think this is more of the definitely unique part of the Target merchandise. You've got a nice assortment of these creepy flowers, and that could be a man-eating plant. And it's, you see a lot of that here at Target. And down here, I guess we have some of the town that goes along with those pieces we saw before. A Wheel of Fate, and there's a little lantern for Trick or Treat. And just some more decor pieces. I, there's a skull, the Target skull. Got a few small plastic pumpkins down here. We'll see some bigger ones later. Look, here is another plant in a cloche. And more pumpkins on cars. Looks like we've got another animatronic with a button. Let's press it. The guy I went with on my last dragon hunt was a real jerk. Luckily, he was fired. <coughs> that cat actually kind of reminds me of a Simpsons cat for some reason. Alright, for $3 we can get a little assortment of goodies here. 
Make your own little goodie bags and fill them with some of this fun stuff. Not really sure what some of these things are. On the end cap though, took me a while to figure out what was on that pumpkin. I guess it's just the bottom pumpkin is the forearm and the top pumpkin is the hand. Anyway, oh, these are pretty cool. Look at these sort of like fruits and things. Uh, it's kind of tropical, but made into sort of a ghostly skeleton combination. Very unique. All right. If you have a real pumpkin, though, you're going to need to carve it and put some lights in it. You can get your merchandise here for a few bucks. Not too bad. Or if you're lazy like me, you can just buy a little kit and stick some stuff on your pumpkin. Um, well, actually, here's some more carving kits. A little bit nicer than some of the other ones. All right, we've got some toys and games. I always like to put these out for my parties uh, to give kids things to do. A lot of the stuff we see year after year. However, a little bit different. I kind of like this ring toss game with the uh, spider. And here's a little mini sort of Jenga-esque game that I bought and I'm going to put on my party tables. But speaking of tables, you're going to need some tablecloths. And here are a couple of different designs. Again, with that target skull, I really like that and I think it looks good on the tablecloth. Alright, just some more sort of empty shelves, so who knows what they're going to stock them with, but there's a teal pumpkin down there, a couple other pumpkins, and just sort of party supplies, I guess. Window clings, just to decorate if you want to stain your windows and get really upset, go ahead and buy some of those. I like those cat buckets, especially that plastic one on the bottom. I bought that for some people in the past as gifts. Oh, here's a little uh, witch. And just, I'm not really sure what any of this stuff is for, but here are some more party supplies, I guess. We've got cups and plates and various assortments. Over here we have a Happy Halloween sort of platter plate. And there is a tray down there. For three dollars, you can get some balloons that look like ghosts, or pumpkins, or some banners. And all this stuff has a very traditional Halloween themed look. It makes me feel very nostalgic. Alright, there's a button. Uh oh, that stopped moving. I think it might be not only in the wrong place, but not working right. So here are the oh, $1. We like that price point. A lot of this stuff that you can just put in trick-or-treat bags. Not sure if that was supposed to be there or not, but that was kind of fun. It's a little pricier as we go down to the three dollars. Um, get some pencils. Every kid loves those, but these erasers actually caught my eye. With the little skulls. I like those. And we have oh five dollars now. Now we are getting pricey. What are you gonna get for five dollars? I saw some stamps in there. And then. Here is a costume piece, but it's supposed to, I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it's a mirror that you wear over your head. I guess when you light it up, you can see your face. I don't know. But you've got some bike tire covers and some wagging covers to make trick-or-treating a little bit easier for those that need some assistance. And that last thing on the bottom there was a candy shoot with no picture. But here is some costuming. I love the Ghostbusters in there on the right. You could get a little baby size or toddler size uh, marshmallow man. Look at that x-ray one over there on the right. That was kind of neat. And we're just going to kind of skim past most of these costumes. Of course, there's all the superheroes and firefighters and army men and so forth. Kind of generic -y. But uh, I think here and there you find one that's kind of unique, like that little x-ray one but they have them for kids and adults. But again, it doesn't look like they have a whole lot of each one, so if you see something, you're probably not gonna wait too long. Of course, you can have the Jack or Sally costume over there, or the Lock, Shock, and Barrel, if you're a Nightmare Before Christmas fan. There is a candy section, of course, at Target, and they have all sorts, and didn't film all of the candy, just because if you've been to Target, you know it's everywhere. They also have these cooking and baking supplies. I like the cupcake decorating kits where you can get the little like bloody knives to stick in the top of your cupcakes. I like to take the red icing or the red gel and pour it over the icing like blood. 
There's lots of ways to get creative, but if you are not the creative sort, you can just get one of these little kits as well and uh, kind of let them guide you along how to make a nice crafty looking Halloween thing without having to be too crafty yourself. All right, if you've got a pet, you've got some pet costuming options, a couple of little pet houses there, and even some pet toys. I really like this skull over here with the eyes that stick out. That's fun. Makes me want to get a pet just so I can give them one of these toys. Okay, it's about time to get out of here, so on my way back to the front, there are some end caps with a little bit more of the higher end merchandise. I like this bowl on top of a spider. And then this stuff is just going to be more of the refined party, I guess you could call it. And they do have some nice stuff. I like that retro cat plate there. Um, the one on the left, of course the one on the right is not, not bad either. And look at that skull down there, that little platter of some sort, which you can place on this subtly themed placemat. Or if you wanted to give it as a gift, there is a section of Halloween gift wrapping and bags, which you can put a little card in there as well. And if you're looking for someone to send it to, just let me know. I'll send you my address. Over here, we've got some stickers you can put on that card. Various assortments, but one thing that caught my eye was a sort of countdown calendar. So we can look forward to Halloween, but of course, I have so much work to do to get ready for it, including testing this wind. But be sure you stay tuned because we've got a lot more store walkthroughs, DIYs, product reviews, and giveaways before we get to Halloween. So until next time, happy haunting.